In their day-to-day -day routine, MEPs appoint, debate, supervise, and with member states, decide on key European issues. They rarely investigate, but the tools are there. The Committee of Inquiry and the Temporary or Special Committee. These are limited to examinations of alleged breaches or poor application of community law. They're decided by plenary vote at the request of a quarter of all 751 MEPs. Before that, the move must have been approved by the conference of presidents of the seven main political groups. Once mandated, the committee can question witnesses and is entitled to documents pertinent to the case. Generally, the special or temporary committee has more members, more staff, but fewer powers. It too has to have the agreement of the Conference of Presidents. Usually, it's 12 months in duration. At the end, it can recommend legislation, which the Commission, as the initiator of EU legislation, can decide to follow up on or not. There have been only three committees of inquiry into the collapse of the Equitable Life Assurance Society, the BSE or MAD car crisis, and the community's transit regime relating to non-EU goods transiting the EU. In the past, special committees have looked at human genetics, safety at sea, climate change, the financial crisis, the Echelon electronic eavesdropping system, the use by the CIA of European countries to snatch terrorism suspects, and the tax rulings of some member states favorable to some multinational corporations. On this last one, they decided to set up a special committee after the tax ruling scandal was revealed in Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium and Ireland. There's one thing, however, which is important to point out at the outset. These are not criminal investigations. It's about fact-finding, about getting answers to who, where, how, when, and anywhere else. The first task of the special committee is to define its working practices and timetable, to select the chair, vice chairs, rapporteurs and shadow rapporteurs. This one will be traveling a lot, visiting member states to build up a comprehensive picture. A strong team that is now constituted, it will turn a dream team if it generates a few nightmares to solve. The brief says Mr. Lamassour, chair of the special committee, who's a former French minister, is boiled down to this. Le mandat est de savoir, de faire savoir et de proposer. What does that mean in more detail, in terms of scope and function? The Sonderausschuss is fully free in the frage mit welchen Themen beschäftigen wir uns, indem wir die kritischen Fragen an die Staats- und Regierungschefs, an die EU-Kommission stellen. It's not a persecution, it's a fact-finding strong mission. It doesn't have as many powers as a pure inquiry committee, but uh, I think as a first move, uh, this will be strong enough. Die Vergangenheit hat ja gezeigt, dass solche Sonderausschüsse äh, auch Aufmerksamkeit äh, erhalten in den Medien und damit politischer Druck entsteht eben auch über die Parlamente der nationalen Mitgliedstaaten. In one respect, this special committee doesn't feel underpowered. Power is, after all, influence, and a great deal of that is generated by the media and by social platforms. Nous allons ouvrir un site internet de manière à ce que toute personne qui aurait des informations à donner et qui serait prête à témoigner puisse le faire. Parliament's right of inquiry is an important tool in the exercise of its democratic oversight. It isn't allowed and doesn't pretend to supersede national parliaments, but it does want to get at the truth through focused inquiry and to exert influence where it can with the weight of public opinion behind it.